technology has become intricately linked to all our activities. All the activities we do, including in our economy, the internet and its enabling of online communication has largely been a force for good as it has enabled and facilitated increased communication. Indeed, with the advent of the COVID-19 global pandemic, technology and e-government, and when we talk of e-government, we also talk about e-justice, have become the enablers of our activities. In the judiciary, we are now able to conduct our hearings online through virtual courts. The benefit of the internet to our children and the young people, which facilitates their virtual education, is well recognized. However, as we all know, with the great opportunities often come challenges. The youth and children are one of the most vulnerable groups to the negative impacts of online platforms that exposes them to crimes and abuse of their rights and dignity. Due to their vulnerability, we need to protect them. We read often in the media of how technology has rent not only to the assaults on children, but also to a host of other antisocial behaviors such as identity theft, breaches of national security, fraud, invasion of privacy, and so on. Due to these trends at the heart of ever-present concerns and worries of parents, educators are the risk children are inevitably exposed to when using the internet and communication technologies like mobile phones, laptops, online games, and social networking sites. In response to these concerns, the government has a responsibility of ensuring online child safety. And I hand the chairman of Communications Authority, Senator Kembi Getora, reaffirm that the best interests of the child is the guiding principle in whatever we do. The state and the public officers have a role to protect our children, given our unique obligation to forever be watchful of their public interests. Thus, the potential abuse of the internet to the detriment of our children makes it necessary for us to design policy and laws that protect our children and filter what comes to our children. As the Chief Justice and the Head of the Judiciary and Chairperson of the National Council on the Administration of Justice, I acknowledge we have a registration and policy that have been developed to ensure that Kenya is ready to address any violations within the cyber space.